the Super Bowl ad that everybody is talking about. The $20 million He Gets Us campaign, where they are trying to promote Jesus to the world. Many are calling this a great thing. I'm not one of them. I'm going to explain everything about why that is in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, please share the video, help us get around those algorithms, hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. And guys, if you enjoy my work here and you're able to help contribute with a generous donation, a couple of different ways you could do that. One, you could help me out with my goal for the month of February, trying to get five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. No signups yet, guys, but I know with your help, we can make this happen. We've done it before. Also, with Patreon, you're going to get alerted for all my content, unlike YT and their alert system, which you're not going to get every single alert notification for content that I put out. So stay connected to Patreon for that. But also there, you can leave all of your comments completely censorship-free. No worry about YT Block and taking down what you guys are saying. You can send me direct messages there as well. Or if you prefer, just click the super thanks down below on this video here. That'll open up a donation prompt. You can make a one-time donation. Leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below in the comment section. And plus two, if you want to know how did I go blind, what's my story, how do I even do all of this with no sight at all, I have a video that explains it all in the description below. Big thank you to everybody who's already contributing here and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So this Super Bowl ad has already garnered a lot of talk, a lot of debate back and forth on both sides, no matter where you stand. Now I guess it's my turn, okay? $20 million, he gets us campaign. When they know that more eyes than ever will be on the Super Bowl in an attempt to apparently lure people towards Jesus Christ. The problem with the campaign, and there's a lot. Let me just say this. The way that they are portraying Jesus is not the way it should be, or he should be portrayed by any means. This is an attempt. This is just my opinion. You might have your, you know, differing views on this, which is fine. But they are trying to make Jesus appear to be sympathetic towards those who are looked down upon, who are in certain groups like, let's just say, oh, I don't know, in the rainbow lifestyle, for one example. Maybe you're someone who's coming to this country in a not-so-right way, but that's okay. Jesus can relate to your pain because they try to portray him here as a refugee, which he never was. This is a, let me just say it, this is a hippie, loving, free-spirited Jesus that loves everybody just the way they are. And that is what they are trying to put out there to people. Nowhere in the ad, because they didn't have the guts, $20 million into this. Not one mention of the word sin or the word repentance. They botched the entire reason that Jesus came to this world in the first place, which is to do what? Die on the cross for the sins of this world so that we might come to a place of salvation, so that we may have eternal life. Is that portrayed? No. Nowhere in the ad. You haven't seen it? I'll put a link down below. He gets us. So he gets why you're living in a lifestyle you shouldn't be living in. He gets that? Meaning he accepts it. He affirms it. But the truth of the matter is he doesn't. This is not the Jesus that they should be portraying to people on Super Bowl Sunday when all these eyes will be on it. You see, this is more like the Jesus that the world likes to try and promote, right? When you have conversations with people, Oh, you're living in a rainbow lifestyle. You should be. Oh, but love is love. Jesus loves everybody. Again, confusing love with affirm. Love, yes. Affirming sin, no. No. Remember when Jesus said, go and sin no more? <laughs> That's not mentioned anywhere in the sad. No, 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 no. Is it important to... Tell people that Jesus loves them? Yes. 
But at the same time, don't confuse that love for affirmation of immorality or any other sin. Because it's not true. It's a lie. David Green, the CEO of Hobby Lobby, is one of the, the ones who's helped fund this entire campaign. Plus, it goes along with another a bunch of anonymous donators, nonprofit group that's putting this on. This was botched. It could have been done completely differently. And maybe they were afraid it would get even more backlash than this. And look, it's already getting backlash. But not for the ways that I'm giving it backlash. No, no, no. It's getting backlash to people who say, oh, you spent $20 million to promote Jesus when you could have been using that money to help out the poor and putting it towards other things. Look, I don't care about the money they want to put into it. What's the message behind it? This is not something that's going to gear people towards salvation to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior and cause them to turn, turn from their wicked ways. This is nothing more than a way to prompt Jesus up again as this free-loving hippie who doesn't care what you do, who doesn't care who you are. He gets you. He gets us. He went to the cross and took everything upon him that he did so that we didn't have to pay the debt. Right? So that we could be declared not guilty for living in our sin. But no, again, not how this is portrayed. These are my thoughts. Again, yours might differ. But I thought I would just get that out there. people. I'll have more on this in the description below. You can let me know your thoughts. What I want to do right now, though, something I do on all my videos is end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Something that you're not going to see, by the way, on this ad. We're trying to win people to Jesus here in these last days. If you're someone that's watching right now, and you've never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you the opportunity to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. Again, something you're not going to find in this ad. That's something we all are, though. We've all sinned. The good news is this, that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways, your old lifestyles, thinking Jesus affirms it because he doesn't. But it means to actually turn from sin, those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the word of God. But if you humbly go before the Lord and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. As I mentioned, you guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You can go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for five bucks a month. Help me out with my goal for the month of February, trying to get five new patrons. Remember, we don't have any signups yet, but I know, guys, with your help, we can turn this around. We've done it before. You can also click the super thanks down below on this video here. That'll open up a donation prompt. Make a one-time donation. Leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. It's all a great blessing. You can also find out my story, how I went blind, how I do my entire operation here with a video in the description below. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.